everyone, Tiana here. I am back with part 2 of the wholesome and cozy games that we can expect to see throughout the later half of 2024. Now, most of these games in this video will only have a 2024 release date instead of maybe a month or which quarter they might be in because as of right now, most of that is unknown. And I only chose games to put on this list that had a 2024 release date instead of games that I heard were supposed to release this year, but their Steam page might have said to be announced or coming soon. So those games were not included on this list. I hope some of that makes sense. But if you want to stay informed when these games are expected to release, be sure to subscribe because each month I make a video on that upcoming month's cozy game releases. So if any of these games interest you at all, be sure to hit the little like button and subscribe down below as well as turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss out on those videos for when those games are released. Alright, let's get into the later half of 2024's cozy games. There are about 27 of them, so sit back and relax. I'm super excited to share these all with you. Number 1 is Myth Wrecked Ambrosia Island. You're Alex, a rookie backpacker taking a much needed break from modern life. Your trip is interrupted when you are suddenly shipwrecked on Ambrosia Island, a beautiful, long forgotten place of myth and sunshine. It's home to the gods of Greek mythology. Many call the island home from Ares to Athena, Hermes, and Hades, although some may be harder to meet than others. Why did the gods lose their memories? How did they become so fearful of one another? Search the island for long lost memories to rekindle the memories of your new friends and uncover the truth and maybe a way home. Number 2 is Craftcraft Fantasy Merchant Simulator. Craftcraft is an RPG merchant sim with actual crafting. You get to choose your own path and become a jeweler, smith, or mage and run your own lovely workshop. From being able to craft a necklace for a mermaid princess or a sword made of dragon blood and being able to adapt different types of magical pets, to even meeting a lot of different folks and changing their lives in this mysterious or town of Windspell. If you like crafting and the sound of having a magical pet to join you along your journey, this might be a game you want to keep your eye on. Number 3 is Honeycomb The World Beyond. Honeycomb The World Beyond is a survival sandbox game set on an exuberant planet, Sorta 7. Explore its vast world and face challenges on your bioengineering journey. Crossbreed animals and plants to create an entirely new species with different properties some of which could save thousands of lives. You'll want to gather resources and craft items to help expand your base and help make your work easier along the way. Number 4 is Spiral. Spiral is a third-person narrative-driven exploration game sharing a poetic version of cognitive degeneration seen from the inside. It tells the story of Bernard, a man who wishes goodbye one last time to the memories that built him from his early childhood to who he is today. You can accompany him on his journey, bearing witnesses to his life and remembering for him as his mind slowly unravels into the void. Number 5 is Wimmel. Study magic, develop hobbies, and forge friendships in Wimmel, a slow-paced time management game where you decide how you want to spend your days. Choose your favorite subjects to discover a wealth of magic-focused careers that you can pursue after your six years at Wimmel Magic Academy. Get immersed in a low fantasy world as you turn friendships into relationships and navigate the everyday life of a magic student. Number 6 is Puff Pals Island Skies. Puff Pals Island Skies is a game about eliciting the nostalgic memories of growing up as a kid exploring the world and discovering everything for the first time. From traversing new biomes, meeting new friends, and customizing your very own home, there is no shortage of things to do on these magical floating islands. Number 7 is Townseek. Townseek is a relaxing exploration trading game where you take to the skies and explore the world of Explora, discovering the lost legacies of Sir Reginald Sharkingston. Travel far and wide, discover exotic landmarks, 
visit faraway towns, raid with whimsical characters, catch fish, discover artifacts, and so much more. The whole world is your sea now, so be sure to see all that it has to offer. Number 8 is Pixelshire. Build the town of Pixelshire and grow your community in a unique RPG sandbox which mixes life sim elements with town building, exploration, and combat. Express yourself by planning the town of your liking, master trades, get to know your neighbors, and explore the continent of Arcadia. Number 9 is Mika and the Witch's Mountain. Mika is an aspiring witch who must embark on a journey to the top of the mountain. There, the answers to too many questions about life and magic await her, but also the end of a journey of a personal growth and self-discovery. Mika will have to work for the local delivery company and lend a hand to her new neighbors. Each new broom will have better features that will allow Mika to get a little closer to the top of the mountain, meet new characters, and discover many new places. Number 10 is Love Ghosty. Become a wholesome ghost matchmaker and grow relationships between the manor's residents. Gift items to lift their spirits, set them up on dates, and watch love bloom. Discover cute romances with a unique story between each pair of residents. How will love blossom in your manor? Number 11 is Fruit Bus. A journey of flavors and friendships await you in your cozy, customizable food truck. Forage for fresh ingredients to create your own menu, then feed the tummies and souls with home-cooked meals. Change the world one apple at a time. Number 12 is Summer House. Summer House is a small-scale building game and a love letter to the feeling of long-lost summer afternoons. Craft a neighborhood of tiny, beautiful, lived-in homes in a variety of settings. The sea, the city, or the mountains. While there are some little secrets to uncover, there are no rules. And you can't win or lose. Just chill out, build to your heart's content, and soak up the atmosphere. If relaxation and creation are your thing, this game is for you. Number 13 is Paper Trail. Paper Trail is a top-down puzzle adventure about leaving home set in a foldable paper world. You play as Paige, a budding academic leaving home for the first time to pursue her studies. On the journey, you learn to fold the world, merging two sides to solve puzzles, explore new areas, and uncover long-lost secrets. Number 14 is The Plucky Squire. The Plucky Squire follows the magical adventures of Jot and his friends, storybook characters who discover a three-dimensional world outside the pages of their book. When the malevolent Hump Grump realizes he's a villain of the book, destined to lose his battle against the forces of good for all eternity, he kicks the heroic Jot out of its pages and changes the story forever. Jot must face challenges unlike anything he's ever seen if he is to save his friends from humgrump's dark forces and restore the book's happy ending. Number 15 is On Your Tail. Embark on an intriguing getaway you'll never forget in On Your Tail, a sleuthy story-driven life sim of relaxation, investigation, and knowing how to play your cards right. Set in the charming seaside village of Borga Marina. On Your Tail follows the adventures of intrepid Diana in her pursuit of the perfect summer vacation. For a curious spirit like her, that means three things. Explore her new surroundings as she gets to know the eccentric inhabitants, unwind with some of the area's iconic recreational activities, and get to the bottom of some of Borga Marina's most puzzling local mysteries. Number 16 is Viva Land. Design characters, craft stories, build a house, and if you want, you can invite your friends to join you in creating and playing together. Viva Land is the first life simulation game built with multiplayer in mind from the ground up. Every household in Viva Land is controlled by real players around the world. Visit the home of other Vivas, go to community areas, or even start your own business. Number 17 is Tales of Seiku. Tales of Seiku is a fantasy style farming sim adventure game set in the enchanting lands of Seiku, a haven for legendary creatures. You and your friend Khan have just arrived after buying a house in the countryside with your savings. 
thus beginning the comfortable and leisurely pastoral life. You'll have to, of course, restore an abandoned farmhouse and the land itself if you want to become the ultimate rancher. Not only can you farm, make friends, uncover secrets, but a unique feature is that you can shapeshift into any animal of your choosing, such as a crow tengu, a dryad with vine powers, or even a deep diving slime to search for hidden treasures. Number 18 is Peitu. In Peitu, you will follow the story of a teenager named Kit. After an argument with her mom, Kit wakes up in a dreamlike world. There she meets a giant white dog, Peitu, who stays by her side from that moment on. Kit's family has been torn apart, and the game takes a unique approach to unveil the reasons behind their resentments. Explore the hidden runes unearthed by Patau's digging prowls, and encounter a cast of eccentric phantoms who tell the tale of Kit's past with a light-hearted twist. Kit and Patau tackle puzzles and challenges working in tandem to unlock the secrets concealed within the ancient structures. On their way back home, they encounter a colorful array of characters, including the erotic troll and a mischievous sphinx. Number 19 is Bandle Tail. From the makers of Graveyard Keeper comes a brand new League of Legends story. You are shy Yordle living in Yarnville, a cozy but isolated island obsessed with all things knitting. When your 101 year long apprenticeship ends, you want nothing more than to see what lies beyond the portals that connect the rest of Bandle City. But when a party you attend goes horribly wrong, the portals collapse and everything is thrown into chaos. With your unique knitting magic and your unstoppable spirit, enlist the help of new friends and restore the portals and reunite Bandle City. Number 20 is Moonstone Island. In Moonstone Island, you are to follow your village's traditions and move to a sky island to complete your alchemy training. This is a creature collecting life sim, and there are more than 100 islands to explore. You will get to befriend tons of NPCs, become a member of a community, go on dates, and even fall in love, while also building a new home on any one of the 100 islands you discover. Not only do you get to explore and meet new friends, but you will get to brew potions, collect spirits, and test your strength in a card-based encounters to help complete your alchemy training. You'll also get to explore ancient temples, dangerous dungeons, and hostile biomes to uncover the dark secret that may be of Moonstone Island. Number 21 is Nico Odyssey. Cat lovers rejoice. In Nico Odyssey, you have your camera and tons of photo opportunities awaiting you. You'll have to search for cats in various locations throughout the town and take pictures to upload to social media. Each photo you upload will earn likes. And as you receive more likes, you'll become better known and your followers may offer tips on finding new and different cat poses. During each cat photography sessions, some cats may require you to establish a connection with them before allowing you to photograph them. You'll also encounter certain events that will lead you to discover new photo opportunities. Number 22 is Alpine Lake. If you are a fan of Stardew Valley, The Sims, or Animal Crossing, Alpine Lake is the perfect cozy game getaway for you. Pick back in the fresh mountain air and craft your ideal haven on the shores of Alpine Lake. Build and decorate your inn to bring joy and prosperity to the community. Welcome guests to your cozy escape in the woods. Farm, cook, and entertain them in your own unique way. Number 23 is Last Time I Saw You. Last Time I Saw You is a coming-of-age narrative adventure about love and acceptance. An unlifting story filled with fascinating characters set in a vibrantly imagined, hand-drawn vision of the late 80s Japan. Join Ayumi on an exciting tale of self-discovery in which he'll face his first tentative steps into adulthood and confront the terrible curse that has fallen upon his hometown. Number 24 is Duck Detective. Solving crime is no walk in the pond. 
you are down on his luck detective who also happens to be a duck. Use your powers of deduction to inspect evidence, fill in the blanks, and burst the case wide open. In a narrative mystery adventure where nothing is quite as it seems, inspect and interview the suspects and solve the case. Number 25 is Magical Delicacy. Play the young witch Flora and discover a bustling town in this Metroidvania inspired wholesome cooking game. Cook meals and potions in your customized kitchen by carefully selecting the right ingredients. Navigate the town in the casual platforming to meet the townsfolk, take up their orders, and learn about this world of magic. Flora travels to a distant town to fulfill her dreams of becoming a proper witch. She opens up the shop in Grat, a harbor town built upon cliffs, where adventurers settled to chart an unexplored island full of mystery. As she engages in the town's thriving economy, she stumbles upon two members of opposing covens. The witch Cassius and the Megus Tauno have a lot to teach Flora, but they also know how to use her in their dispute about magical being. Number 26 is Baladins. Buskers, party animals, troublemakers. They've been given many names, but they call themselves Baladins. These legendary heroes wander from town to town to fulfill their sacred quest, entertaining the masses. It's a difficult task, but one of the Baladins takes in stride. From helping those in need to throwing parties, they bring surprises with them wherever their travels take them. All that matters to them is bringing joy to the people who inhabit the bright and the lively world of Gatherick. And number 27 is Everholm. Lily is searching for her lost sister, Melanie, and during her search, she happens upon a magical portal that lures her into Everholm, a cute, cozy little island where everyone seems to recognize her. Gathering her wits, she sets out to uncover the mysteries of this little slice of heaven with the help of a local witch. Everholm is an open-ended, role-playing game focusing less on punching your way through the island's wildlife and more on interpersonal relationships. Meet the residents of Everholm, gain their trust, and figure out why they're stuck with her on this enigmatic island. Alright, that is gonna do it for this later half of 2024 cozy games that will be coming out later this year. I am super excited for these games. Let me know down in the comments which games you are excited from this list that will be coming out later this year. And like I said earlier, I will be sure to include any of these games that will be coming out in any of the monthly videos. So be sure to subscribe down below for that so you don't miss out when those videos release. And hit the little like button if you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing rest of your day. Bye!